What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I've got Michael back at the house yeah, here. it was a tough day at the office. Thanks <laughs> for asking. AKA, um, I just got kind of kidnapped and attacked by these random dudes. And they took my clothes. And I donated $500 to them because I thought that's what I needed to do, but I think I did it for nothing. <laughs> um, but I'm here. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> So, um, I'm gonna- oh wait, I want full suits. Let's get him all dressed up again. Um, let's- you know, nope, because Trevor's wearing the Ash suit right now. They can't be, like, twinning twinning, because then that, that would just be- I don't know, like, it just wouldn't make sense. Now there's a shootout happening in the front of my house? Is that what I'm hearing? You guys! What is happening? All right, listen, I'm going to call an emergency, uh, um, an emergency, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> a false emergency, because I need, I need a fire truck. Hello, this is 911. What emergency service do you require? Thank you. The fire department are en route to your location. Oh, there like wasn't anything special. I thought Michael was gonna go tell him like a whole sob story about how his house is burning down and everyone's still in there. <laughs> and that's why I need a fire truck. <laughs> All right, let's just wait. Now when they come up though, oh my God, look, they're doing yoga over there. Now when I come up though, or when they come here, can I just take it right away where, oh, that's a nice convertible. Do I just take it right away or do I need to let him step out? Like, what's gonna be better? Where's he even coming from? There it is. Hi! All right, so anyway. Sorry. Ah, you can use the hose. How do I turn it though? Can I not? I probably can't. Ah, it like, depending on where you're looking. I got distracted, sorry. <laughs> I got distracted. <laughs> the palm tree got me good. Sweet Jesus indeed. All right. I, got, I only got a one star from that. That's fantastic. I don't really know if I'm going the right way. If I'm getting closer to Lester's or further, like I don't ever, I can't ever remember where he's at. Ah, okay, yeah. Pretty much. Damn, this is kind of difficult to drive. That wasn't too bad. Probably the easiest approach was to just do a false emergency instead of going to the actual station and attracting all the firefighters and authorities. Okay, okay. We made it! Nobody questioned why there is a huge fire truck back here. You don't need to know. All right. I'm out. Although I wish I had my car here. Oh, hi! They're so chunky. Hey, Lester. We got a fire truck. It's parked around the back of your place. Good work. Call me when the rest of the prep's taken care of, okay? All right, so we need a getaway vehicle.
I mean, ah, man, shit. I was gonna steal that one. I think he probably knew. <laughs> I think he knew what I was up to. He said nothing special, so I'm not- I'm not gonna... ...spend a lot of time trying to find something crazy to use. It'll be fine. Um, we just need a discreet location. Ah, shit. Sorry. I don't know, there's an alleyway here. Is that- is that not discreet enough, though? Shit, it's like steep. I don't know if I want to park it on a steep hill. I mean, I know it doesn't matter, but... Well, like, park it right here. This is, like, super discreet. No one's gonna see it. Yeah! Okay. So, I'll call you... Wait, is that what I'm supposed to do? Oh, my bad. I, I gotta, like... Hold on. Mark getaway location. Hey, Les. That getaway car is parked where we need it. All right, give me the location. Whose car Here alarm is going off right now? I guess we can't put it off any longer. I'll get word out to the guys. Come out to my office and speak to me. Shoot, it's about to go down. <laughs> like, actually, <laughs> whose car is it tweaking? That doesn't sound great. Oh shit, can I get out of here? This way? Oh fuck. Can I not? Alright, maybe I can't. How do I get out? I'll just jump over this here. Um. Alright, so yeah. Where are we meeting up for this heist? Oh, literally right there around the corner. That car alarm is driving me crazy. It's still going off. All right, anyway. I can't believe it. Me neither, girl. Oh my god. <gasps> Hey, how you doing? Um, ah, pretty good. Damn, Under you cleared it out in here. About to knock Shit. off the federal so. government building. Oh, meanwhile, my psychotic former BFF is trying to figure out a way to kill me. But hey, the meds are kicking in. Isn't someone Life's always good. trying to figure out a way to yeah. kill you, Michael? <laughs> exactly. Franklin got us what we need. Put those on. Then what? Then head in there and uh, rig up a slightly more sophisticated fire trap than we've got here. So, I'm guessing drapes and scented candle aren't going to do the trick, huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> we'll have incendiaries and a remote device. Now, they need to be strategically placed so we can ensure that we still have access to the server and that the structure maintains its integrity. Now, once you get out, trigger the bombs, meet up with Franklin and the crew, and we'll intercept the emergency call, and you all go in as firemen. Sure, uh, got it? Okay. Yeah, I got it. Sounds a little idiotic. Well... Under the circumstances, it was the best I could do. And if you remember, you were the one who chose to do it like this. Oh, yeah, on. because we're living life on the edge today. <laughs> you whine too much. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, don't even try it. <laughs> Damn. Don't worry. Oof, yeah, this is gonna be a wild one. Holy shit. We got this, I think. Oh my god, why did it spin out like that? God damn. Anyway, let's uh, enjoy this beautiful sunset before things go down and hit the fan. Really pretty. What's up, Mike? I'm about to start my shift at the Bureau. Hey, can you grab Packy and Daryl? Get the fire truck and be ready to go when I give the word, alright? Alright, dog. Hey, one of them dudes is a beast, so we might just do this. Hey, look, clean up in the eye. Right? I hope we make decent money, actually, this time around. I guess we'll see, but... We need the shmoney. 
Enter the FIB building and go to the turnstile. Roger that. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just here for an honest you day knew. work. Just go through the turnstile. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Yeah, they keep changing the contractors. Yeah, because guys like me keep losing their jobs and agreeing to do this for less. All right, head up. <laughs> They're like, all right, you don't need to like go all into it right now. We get it, you're petty. <laughs> okay, Michael. It's just you and me. Oh, is it this one I need to go into? Okay. Got us a lot of floors. Which one did Come we just press? On. Jeez. <laughs> Come on, we ain't got all day. Just shoot me up to that floor right now. Pick up the mop, but don't mind if I do. Alright, we're about to play cleaning simulator. I'm excited. You can like see the fucking dirt. My god. Ooh, it's kind of satisfying how it goes away though. Ah, shit. Ah, oh, no, the mop is dirty. Wow, the detail is insane. <laughs> We really got to actually clean it. Oh, plant the bomb in the locker. Oof, okay. Ah, because it's casually open. Won't you look at that? There you go. Because why not? All right. On to the next room. What is this guy doing? He's been bending over this whole time. Bidding over doing what, bro? What are you- Oh, he's at a snack machine. <laughs> I just realized what I just said sounds really sus out of, out of context. Also, that definitely was not a snack machine. That was files. Oh, Kurt. Is this one gonna smear? Do I need to, like, clean it after every- Dirty mop. Yep. Ah, no! I'm trying to... I guess I can't really, uh... Can I pick it up? And move it closer? Because it's just a little bit far. There we go. Yeah, let's put it there. And then I'll clean it. Michael's whistling. He's just too casual about this. Wait, there's like one spot. Oh, it's gonna bother me. Oh no. Oh, thank you, Michael. You're the best. Let's clean it and then we'll move to the next room. Actually, I probably didn't need to do that. I think he automatically cleans it every time you pick it up and put it down. It's the thought that counts. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna do it again. Sorry! We're making sure it's extra, extra clean this time. It's getting intense because, like, nothing has happened. I feel like this is gonna be one of those missions where it, it has, like, a slow start and then it's really gonna... really gonna go down. All right, wait, uh, yeah, go in here. Just casually. In case you needed proof, coffee was a diuretic. Damn, that's scary. Totally just clean the toilets. Yep, super quick. I'm really good at my job, I'm so quick, you completely miss whenever I do anything. <laughs> All right. Wait. Am I going the right way? Oh, I gotta go this way. 
I was like, that's just from, that's where we came from. You're gonna go straight. Everything is starting to look the same to me. I can't tell anymore. Another janitor? Was the last one a heart attack or a budget cut? Uh, okay. When are you gonna get out of here? When I log my OT for the week. It's not about being a All right, Michael. See, that wasn't that bad. We did it. Go in and leave the office. That was pretty easy. That was like the quickest shift ever. They don't work so hard. We're all leaving in a minute. <laughs> okay. I don't know why you just yelled that at me, but good good to know. Hey, Michael's fast now. Look at him. Oh, it looks so pretty at night. Ah, good. Hey, charge is set. I'm out of the building. Shit! Hey, dog, we right around the corner. We got your gear in here with us. Hey, look, everybody cool, right? Because once we pick him up, it's all go, all right? Oh, my God. I'm excited. Oh my god, Michael's running for it! He said, hell yeah, let's get this shit. Let's get this shit done! Alright, trigger the fire bombs, Frank. I'll get my turnout gear on. Oh my god, I gotta use the phone to detonate it. How many bombs did we put down exactly? Because that was a lot of exploding. That just happened. Let's that was a lot. It could have been like a chain reaction too. So Lester hijacked the emergency ah, shit. Thing, right? Yep. We'll be the only idiots running into that burning mess. So don't worry. We got this. Look how fast we got here. Pull up over here. Alright, let's get in there. <laughs> Whose scream is that? That was amazing. Damn, see, not gonna lie, this plan is pretty smart. All right, Lester says these elevators should still be fine. Was he on an industrial strip? God, I fucking hope so. weed at the time. Yeah, probably a little bit of both. Cool, dog. Thanks for clearing that shit up. All right, we're going across to the far stairwell and up to the top floor. We gotta go across. Take the stairs to the top floor. Yikes. Ooh, there's a lot of flashing lights. We take these up six stories. Server rooms on 53. Not much further. Let's park it. Ooh, we have an oxygen limit. Oh my god. This is getting too real. 53. Containment drives up here. We were on 453. Oh, I'm stuck. I keep getting stuck on things. Now is not the time. Yet. We left. <laughs> Good thing he knew exactly what to get from that, because that looks like a lot and very confusing. Holy shit! It's coming down. Look. Oh fuck, fuck, fuck. Why do I have to be the last one? Oh shit! <laughs> Oh my god. Get me out of here, man. Oh, 
Oh fuck! Oh no, I didn't even think about this possibly happening. This is terrible! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I gotta go through the door first. Door My bad. Okay, okay, okay stay back. Go. Oh, he just died. It was Daryl, of course it was. He didn't even do anything. He didn't even do anything. That's so funny. The game really said, yeah, he's supposed to be really bad, but um, we're not going to let him showcase how bad he is. We're just going to kill him off. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, fuck. Who else is... Okay. Oh, oh. My bad, I wasn't ready. Get out of here. Oh, I can't really see. Fuck, I just died. All right, I gotta take cover this time. It's, it's getting hard to see. With all the smoke and stuff, and the flashlight's not really doing anything for me. Not even gonna lie. Oh, I gotta hear that terrible ringing again. It's too high-pitched for me. I feel like it's equivalent to a dog whistle for dogs. <laughs> oh my god. I'm alive! I'm just, I'm not doing great. All right, now I, you know what? I'm gonna shotgun in here. I'm gonna blow you all out. That didn't get you? Oh shit, like I can't see. Oh God, who else? Who else? Okay, reload, Frank. Do I go in here? Is anyone in here? Yep. You fools should be at home. <laughs> you fools should be at home. It's late. Wait, yeah? Whoa. Hey, Don, man, I'm coming to find. Oh, my bad. This is it. I'm on oh shit! Am I even going the right? I'm not going the right way. Am I? Wait, I think I am. Oh, I got one too. It's oh, great. my bad. It's, it's them. Right. <laughs> hey, well, I was like, they're not moving. I'm scared. I'm just ready to shoot anybody who's in my way right now. That's 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 where it's come to. Oh my god, I don't want to be on fire. Whoa. Shaft this way. We can repel to the bottom. Okay. I got you. I'm just getting stressed because I can't see well. Alright, this is our way out. We gotta get these doors open. What's up? Hey, we'll do it together. Cool. I see a tree level. Oh, jeez. Oh no. Why do I have a feeling one of them is gonna s one of the ropes is gonna snap? I really hope not. Ooh. How did that not hit me? Holy shit! It literally looks like it's gonna fall on top of me. That's insane. Okay, the last piece just didn't fall, don't worry. <laughs> the cutscene saved us. Always leave it up to the cutscenes. That was... Honestly, like, kinda difficult, but not too bad. We'll be here 
<laughs> Good job. Not suspicious at all, actually. Thank God Packy didn't die. At least there's that. All right, we're going. All right, we all gotta change before we get there. At some point soon, an APB will go out looking for firemen. We cannot be playing dress up when that happens. Right. We need to get to the ride and torch this fire truck as soon as possible. I'm working on it. Yeah, because if they connect the dots, man, I don't know. Man, I'm working on it. Any minute, they'll be looking for us. I mean, those guys at the building <laughs> you took down. If they knew, who else is going to He's rubbing it in Everyone our faces. About, dog, trust me. I'm going to get us there as fast as I can. All right, shit, shit. I just don't want to run into something. Man, y'all don't want to run into Trevor, bro. That's who you don't want to run into. <laughs> You're right. I mean, so, like, uh, true. Take us to our get out. Oh, shit. The cops, the feds. And my dear friend Where exactly Cole. is it? Right, man, I'll try. Try Why am I not remembering? Okay. What were we thinking? So far. The fire truck can't go much quicker. It wasn't far, I just don't remember where exactly I, I put it. I know it's on the map, but the marker seemed kinda in a weird place because I put it in the back of a parking lot. Fucking idiot. Ah shit. Ah shit. It's having us do all weird turns and twirls. Oh no. Everything went pretty smoothly, but when it comes to finding the getaway vehicle, forget nervous, about it. Frank. We should have stashed it closer. It wasn't that far, I promise. Okay, it's Oh, my bad. It's in this alleyway. I remember now. I remember now. So we can just park it here. Oh, get back in the fire truck? I We can't run over to the freaking getaway car. God damn it. <laughs> They're making this all sorts of difficult. Cause I, I, yeah, there we go. I was about to say. And well, now I don't even think we can get out because of how it's placed. All right, everyone, I need you to actually get out of the way. Like everyone walk back. This is, it's not, this is not a game. Actually, I need to move it back so that I know we have enough room to leave. Now, okay, for real, everyone get back. I'm gonna blow it up. Cool. Drive us to Lester's. Q. Honestly, we could like walk to Lester's, I think, but it's okay. We got the car. Let's let's just do it. Now that we're clear, I can probably tell you people. I didn't think we were gonna make it out of there. Uh, one of us <laughs> right? didn't. We lost a dude, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Shit. What are you doing, employing clowns? I couldn't get work in this town for a year, and that guy's booking jobs. Yeah. That guy told he could handle himself. Mm. Hey, we're lucky we found you. Well, anyway, we made it out. So we got that to be thankful for. Daryl's people will get his paycheck and the standard expenses. Hey man, it was all about Daryl. Damn. Damn. Really? Why is that? Didn't you speak to the guy? Nothing was his fault, so it uh, it must have been us, right? Uh, <laughs> I'll put it down to bad leadership then. I can tell you that because the leader was dumb enough to take you in there. True that. <laughs> True that. Man, I was hoping that we'd get um, Daryl's cut. <laughs> I mean that that's fair though. All right. At least the rest of us are in one piece. Oh, we're actually going to Lester's house. House. That's what hey, it Lester's is. Place up here. My bad. I did not hear them say that. All right. I'm out of here. Bye, Packy. Thank you. <laughs> well. Oh, he's mad. I never thought I'd see you clowns again. We did it! Okay, no, no, we're fine. We're fine. He did it for dramatic effect. <laughs> How was it? For a suicidally dangerous mission impersonating emergency services while working a high security government facility? It was surprisingly uplifting. <laughs> <laughs> surprisingly. Here, 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 oh, ow, 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 ow. 
Sorry, I forgot. You forgot my very, very obvious illness? It happens. Uh, whatever. You just hey, got too happy. Yeah. Franklin, fill up the glasses. Got some real vintage moonshine, hillbilly type shit. We're gonna be seeing triple and committing incest in minutes. <laughs> just oh, the God. Shit to make a man forget his trouble. Oh, exactly. I am just gonna get drunk as a skunk, and then I'm gonna reverse engineer a webcam and spy on those sorority girls again. <laughs> I'm oh. ill, okay? Give it's me a so break. insane. <laughs> oh, Man, oh. Shit. <laughs> All right, boys, I hate to break up the ritual, but I got to go square things up with Davy and Dick Wild. Uh, for serious? Hey, I just want them to know that now that we did this thing for them and we have the evidence that we did this thing for them, that we can all go our own separate ways, you know? Well, fuck it. You want me to go with you, dog? No, stay. Have fun. I got to do this alone. Right now. The sooner the better. It's one way to look at it, eh? Right. <laughs> Besides, I want to put this shit to bed. Okay. Then I can figure out Trevor. Something you know? tells me it's Get not going to happen back. that way. Go back to being bored and miserable and loving every motherfucking minute of it. Here, enjoy the incest juice. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> show know how is to put terrible. The back in midlife crisis. He said, I'm going to smoke instead of drinking that crazy shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, is that the fucking... That's the cult symbol right there. I, 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 need, I need to progress with that. I'm curious. Damn, I fucked up this car so bad. The door is not closing. <laughs> Oh no. We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davey. From now on, done. Uh -huh. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but, but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? <sighs> really? All right. All right. I'll come to the court center. Fuck. All right, well, I'm doing the Epsilon shit first to get my mind off of what you just said in this phone call. All right, and then, yeah, maybe I'll go over there. Why not? Why not? Well, I kind of, like, forgot where exactly I was going. Did you know how much this car costs? Michael, let's remember, we picked it off of the street. I don't know how much it costs. All right, we're almost here. I feel like it's been nighttime in this game for like, freaking ever. <laughs> oh no. Somebody stop that guy. Here we go again. You gotta help me, bro. Every, time. Oh. Every time. Every time. Come on, bro. You're really gonna make me kill you. Like, really? Really, you're gonna make me kill you. Wow. And you're kind of indestructible, too. <laughs> oh my god, it's like bowling. Listen, you could have just given me everything right after the first time I hit you, but you didn't. I'm actually keeping it this time. Bye. <laughs> now I've got $500 and I'm about to see what's going on with this Epsilon program. I am a living the life. <laughs> I am living the life. I don't care what anyone says. It's happening. All right, guys, I hope you have my clothes. No way. I want my clothes back. Don't even go there. Don't even go where? Hello? Oh my god, they have like all their papers on every box. What is in those boxes? Come, you have come this far, but the journey has only just begun. Yeah. You waited years for this moment. You're exactly in the right place. I was lost. I sold myself. I took drugs. I was in conflict. Then I discovered an incredible truth, a truth so incredible that if I told it to you now, you would melt into nothingness. Okay. You are <laughs> ready, but you are not ready. Oh, I'm not ready. Then you're ready. That's so I funny. I don't know about that. <laughs> the truth is incredible if you're capable of understanding it. We have your email address. 
We will send you an incredible education tool that will help you to unlock the secrets of the existence. Okay. That will cost as little as $5,000. Oh, Jesus! So here we go again. What price would you put on having the tools to understanding everything and to achieving the impossible? I mean, I was hoping it'd be price free. I would put on that is every penny you've ever earned. <laughs> Kiflin, sister mother. Well, the price I would put on it is all the money in the entire world because that is how much it is worth. Well, we're offering you millions of dollars of top quality research and learning by society's best thinkers for only $5,000. Think about it, Michael. And if you think too long, we know you're not ready. Well, I guess $5,000 is not really anything compared to how much we do have right now. Okay. Is it gonna be worth it? I don't know. The 12 goals of Epsilonism. We are making an assault on happiness. We will be generous in ways that are upwards and ways that are manifest. We will live by the proven scientific truth of the metaphors. We will fight superstition, limited thinking, and dogma wherever we find it. We will be clear thinking, independent minded, and do exactly what we are told. We will practice science by not doubting. We will display infinite power by closing out those who disagree with our life choices. We will practice kindness and mercy by a relentless assault of unsavables, always reminding them of what awaits. We will be everywhere all at once, but also right here, right now. We will invest in a structured study program because we know that knowledge is not free. We will be open-minded to new experiences apart from those that are wrong, distasteful, or against teachings. We will promote epilonism in everything we do while we await both the writing of the tract and the ending of the ninth paradigm. Okay, the Epsilon program, live by the tenets, live by the facts, await the tract, invest in yourself. Well, thank you guys. You know, I, I might just give you $5,000. Why not? And it's raining, it's so peaceful, it's still nighttime. Everything is great, guys. Let's go ahead and see our bureau friends, I guess, and see what they want, even though I thought we'd be done. Are we ever done, though? I guess we should have known better. We really should have known better. Hey, Ricky! Ricky from Life and Me. Bro, I know you'll find this hard to believe, but it's kind of difficult for someone with a middling GPA and bad references to get a job in this climate. You gotta help me. Hey, I want to help you. I'll call you. That's all I can say. Good luck out there. I really, really want you to help, man. But my last job only called for gunmen. I'm so sorry. Ooh, Marnie, please visit our website at epsilonprogram.com to donate 5,000 towards your future enlightenment. Can we make that 4,500? Because technically I've already donated $500. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Whoopsie. I got a little bit ahead of myself. Listen, I will donate in a little bit, though. I got you. We have like a whole campus here. That's awesome. I didn't even know that. Oh my god, we are going everywhere because the roads are so wet. I really have a feeling they are about to put me to work again. What are they gonna have me do now? Liberty City Tales. Damn, can we go in here like all the time? Shit. Maybe we can. Wait, where is he? Am I like running? Where am I running to? Okay, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just gonna keep going. Davy, Davy, why are you making this more difficult for me than it needs to be? Oh, there's a health pack here? I don't need it. That's not, you can't open that either. Okay, I need to go back. I think I got a little bit ahead of myself. Oh, we got a stamina all the way up though. We gotta go this way. For sure. Go down the stairs. Wait, what the fuck? Why are you like on the edge of this? You're gonna push me off. This seems really dangerous, dude. 
You're up there? He's up there. Oh my God, I'm screaming. <laughs> Go up the stairs. I'm like, why, why are we on the edge of this freaking hill right now? If he was actually standing there, that would have been super suspicious. Here we are. My God, that, why was it so difficult uh, to find him? Maybe, maybe that's why we're such great friends, huh? We're old school, like old fashioned things. Newspapers, celluloid. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, no. Know, you tell me. Not we really. what you said, right? Cut those people off your back. Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you could say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but- I'm fucking orthodox! Okay, okay. Did Sanchez arrest these men, both oh, of them? Steve, oh, come whoa, on, please. Are you fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't Ooh. want me to testify in court. About our various business dealings, right? Agent He's Sanchez, always ready. The suspect. Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, ah! Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael to try and explain things to him. Not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. <laughs> then put your gun down and we'll talk. You put your gun down, Come bitch. On, you you pulled it up first. You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, uh -huh. right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun Bruh. time is over. We've got you. Anti-American. <laughs> Not what the IAA. Oh shit! Who the fuck are you with? The thing. You fucking rat! I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons oh, down. Oh shit! This fuck sucks. You. We all know you agents. Boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Boys, the gun down, gentlemen. God damn. Fucking Merryweather. What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. No, ah, he got shot again. <laughs> Woo! Fuck. Ooh, bullshit. Oh shit. Fucking shit. Oh man, this is rough. No wonder why there's so much health around. Oh goddamn. Alright, come on, bro. What happened to Hayes? Did he get caught in the crossfire? What the There's fuck do you mean? Oh shit. Oh damn! Ha! Huh. Trevor's been watching! Oh, the fuck? Hey! If anyone's gonna kill you, old friend! It's oh. gonna be me! You here to finish the job, T? No, 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 no. I'm just here for the opportunity. Now run! Oh my god, what? Oh shit. This is the guy who iced Brad and would ice me? I'd be better off putting my sights on him. There we go. Looks clear. D, make a play for that stone bitch by the pool. Oh man. I'm coming down. All right, we're coming down to the courtyard. Hell yeah. This is crazy. Wait, where's the fucking health at that I was finding earlier? Because it would be really nice to have it now. Um. Oh man, I don't have a launcher for him, do I? That kind of sucks. I got it. Shit, 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 shit. 
So tell me, Davey, who are these Bureau men trying to kill me? Oh, here, here, here. I thought you were the corrupt division. Give me the hell. Damn, can we actually go in here? Oh, there's like literally nothing. It's just... <laughs> It's just open. We will get out of here alive because we are badass. What, are doing at this party? Tell me. what do you think, Trev? Sorry, Davey. Alright. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. This is a fucking shit show. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Woo! Okay, what? Get out! Stop hiding! Now's not the time! There's like one more guy. There we go. Ah, shit. There we go. Pretty simple. Okay. Good luck. Be careful, Davy. I'm changing clips. Oh. Mike, before you disappear, we need to have a conversation. So conversate. Not here. I want this one. The pawn shop in okay. Oh, actually, damn, there's a... <laughs> Wait, this one's actually really nice, but also that one's really nice. So which one do I want? No, I'm taking this one. I don't really get to drive cars like these. I drive sporty ones all the time. Shit, chopper. Oh fuck! A loose enemy chopper. Oh crap! Whoa! Fucking hell! I could probably get out and like shoot him oh. on my own, but but I'm just gonna keep driving. It's okay. Yeah, we're we're fine. We're good. My bad. Just took the most complicated way. I just I decided to go through the freaking what is it? Like the security way. Oh god. Yeah, it's getting real hard to drive with these slippery roads. Hmm. My bad, my bad. We're not gonna talk about it. You get out of my way. I'm here to meet a friend. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna continue on foot. Well, that was fun. What are you doing smoking, huh? Come on. No, 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 that's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? 
Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking uh -huh. to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor. Listen, I've been meaning. Uh, you know, I've been meaning. I've been meaning to tell you. You know, I. <laughs> what? What do you mean to tell me? Huh? That you stabbed me in the back, or that you were and always will be a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, no, what Clear the fuck did you come day. back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm. Yeah. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head. But if it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then you and I get to go to hell. And I get to spend the rest of eternity with you, tormenting you. Well, <laughs> I guess it's on. Sounds great. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester. Let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Mm, we're all friends now. Mm -hmm. Suppose the group hug's out of the question? <laughs> he wants to uh, <laughs> <That's silly. laughs> still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. Good. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sorted, nasty. Depraved history, but history nonetheless. Okay, great. Right. There, you happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah. Yeah, you are, huh? <laughs> that was great. That was actually really fun. That was really fun, but not what I expected. And I am really glad that Trevor came back. That was really nice of him. Speaking of him. Let's switch over to him real quick because he does have a few side missions going on here. So we have this new Strangers and Freaks mission that we can check out and I think it'd be really fun. So let's go ahead and do that. Although I do need to steal a car casually. Nothing personal, but... But I do need your car. <laughs> Thanks, bye! Oh man, there's a public bus right in front of me. Fun, fun stuff. Woo! Everyone's trying to run into me. Shaking my head. This episode has been super fun so far. Um, although I feel like I've been abandoning the side missions. Which I feel bad. I feel bad! I need to go back to them. Lucky miss! Lucky miss indeed. What the fuck are you doing? Oof. All right, we're approaching. We are approaching. Where are you at? Are you inside? Are you in the house? Can I have a word? Can you? Can can yeah? Hey 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 hey. Hello. <laughs> hey, thank. Nice house, isn't it? Is it not yours? You like it? I'm selling it. You want to buy it? Oh. I'm downsizing. No, no, I'm good. Downsizing? I used to sell houses like this all the time. I mean, it's pretty big. I sold dreams. I made lives meaningful. I'm not sure about that. How about you like? You like beautiful things, though, don't you? Sure. Well, I just happen to know the most beautiful woman. You want a bouncy bouncy? Josh. Josh Bernstein. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm the Josh Bernstein. Yeah, I never heard of you. Oh, well, yeah. I used to be a big deal <laughs> once in real estate, and so I had my license. Oh, I thought he was like famous, famous. My meal ticket. Where's the chick? I'll get to that. I'll get to that. See, it's not really, it's not really money that I'm after here. It's just, it's a little something more awkward than that. Now, Lenny Avery. He, he, he was my best friend, and now he has taken. All of my clients. Uh huh. All of them. Do you think that you could take out all of his for sale signs? That sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> that was easy. She's worth it, man. I love you. Okay, that was a little too much. That, that was a little too soon, buddy. But yeah, I guess I, I can you. do that. I love you. Lenny Avery. Lenny Avery. Very easy name to remember. I can tell you that.
around the northern area. Okay. So I just have to find it myself. That's what you're telling me. That sounds like a lot. I, I thought you would let me know where they're at. I mean, shouldn't you know? I think you should know. Oh, like this? Can I just punch it? <laughs> no? Okay, what do I do? Do I need to shoot it? One out of 15. There's 15 of them? All right, um, I scared everyone. Avery has a website with all of his real estate listings around the city. That's how we have to find it. That is exactly how we have to find it. So, hold on, let me open this up real quick. Ah, right, we can get directions. I hope it's not the one I just destroyed. No, it's, it's not, we're good. We're good. Watch out, babe. What am I going to get out of this, though? He's talking about a girl, but Trevor, are you forgetting about Patricia? Patricia is very important. We cannot forget about her. Um, wait, I'm taking my turns too early here. I keep doing this and it's not playing in my favor. All right, I might just run into those signs so that I don't bring too much attention by pulling out my gun and stuff. So what's next? We did that one. We can do these because there, there's two right next to each other. They're right next to each other. This sounds like a lot of work. I can't believe he's making me do this. How dare you? They're not that far away from each other though. Maybe it won't take me that long. If I can speedy through and get them done. Okay, wait. Let me make sure I'm not gonna miss any. Okay, so there's one there. Hi dog! Oh no no no, you stay away from me. I really can't like kick them. There we go. Damn, why'd you record me? That was rude. Maybe, like, don't do that again. Ah, shit. If there wasn't a dog right next to you, I would have ran you over. Oh my god, now I'm just running over the fire hydrant. This is, this is not going great. <laughs> not going very well. Okay, wasn't there another property? No? Which, ah, uh, shit, my bad. Which, which one? Or maybe I'll try and drive forward a little bit? He definitely had another one. Man, where is it at? Where is it at? I wish there was a quicker way to get through these. Oh, it's like up a little bit. That's why. It's okay. I'm more careful when I see a dog because I can't run over a dog. That's mean. <laughs> you can't do that. What's next? I hope I remember all the ones that I do. Do do do. So we gotta do these up here. Oh my god, there's so many. There's so many! <laughs> this man's got me doing his dirty work! Trevor's always stuck with like the weird, um... Strangers and Freaks missions where they literally just make him do all their dirty work for them. That's all it is. Trevor's always doing all the chores. Oh, I might have done this one. I think that was the one that I did, huh? So now I've got a what? Uh, cause a traffic accident looking like that? That is very absurd and mean. Ooh, vine wood. Tor. Okay, maybe if I go up here. He's got a lot of houses around here. Now we get to just look at all the beautiful houses together. The ones that we can't actually have. Oh no. 
Okay, here's one. Am I? Okay, I gotta get up on the hedge. Let's get up on the hedge here. And then kick down! Oh no! Trevor, no! <laughs> Trevor, no! Get up! Get up, man! There we go. God, we have 10 more. This is crazy. I should be looking at the map again to keep track of the ones that I've found and haven't found, but... I just like making things harder for myself because why not? Okay, you know what? Let's go through the other side. Is Would that be better? Yes, I think it would. Ooh, that's not almost fought back. That's so funny. What? We can't jump over that hedge? It's crazy. Purple signs, purple signs. Where are you at? I'm looking for purple signs. That's all I want. That's all I need. All right, let's pull up the map again. Whoa, what the fuck is happening? What? If someone just hit me and asked if I'm drunk, but they're the ones that hit me, I'm gonna be a little concerned. Um, oh shit, yeah, where exactly am I? <laughs> where exactly am I? Do you think that's one that I've done? Oh yeah, it definitely is, I think. I'll drive to it just in case. See, this is, this is, um, this is where I messed up. <laughs> Cause now I'm not keeping track of the ones that I did and didn't do. Oh, it's this, oh yeah, no, we didn't do this one. Okay, thank God I checked. Oh, you did not just hit my car. You saw it there and you're just gonna run into it and damage your own car? That makes no sense, ma'am. Oh shit, this car's getting fucked up. It's not wanting to start. It's not wanting to start. Okay, so... Oh, what are they doing? Are you guys good? <laughs> Definitely not. Definitely not. Alright, so we can do uh, like these two. There's a lot of properties around there. See, these might have been the ones that I did. I can't tell. This is starting to feel like a very hard and dreadful treasure hunt. <laughs> oh no. Okay, was this one that I did? Because I don't see it. Oh no, the sign is kind of hidden. Actually. <laughs> oh, oh, Trevor, you almost got it. Oh, you almost got it. You, you were almost there, bro. Just one more, one more time. Nope. <laughs> one more time, man. Nope, okay. Trevor said, actually, I kind of want this one, so maybe we don't destroy the sign. <laughs> All right, eight out of 15. We're progressing. So we gotta do this one. Is that the next one? Let's go straight down and then curve over. How about it? Ah, uh, this might have been one that I did. Let's be real. I was in this area. This is the one that I keep clicking on and like, it was like one of the first houses I did for sure. Let's get directions to this one. Go back. Whoa! I love how they flashed their lights at me. And honked at the same time! That's talent! Oh, I could have just ran into this one, actually. Let's be real. Okay, next. So, that was that one. So, we can do this one. I have faith that I'm actually going to be able to do this today. <laughs> And I just hope that some good or some some interesting cutscene comes out of it. Or money. Money's good too. Oh no, there's like a blue dot now. Way. I'll check it in a second. Where's the neighbors are gonna see this? You know I've got a competition coming up. Can we talk about this? What is that NPC 
is he doing? Oh my god. Oh my god. We have five more signs left. Oh my god, that NPC is really struggling. He's stuck. It was the only He's stuck! They had. Got Bro, stop driving into the same spot and maybe you'll get out. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm done with your bullshit. I'm done with this. That's it! Walk away like you always do! Hey, you! Listen, can you give me a ride? My wife's gone crazy. I'll throw some dollars your way. We'll need a vehicle first, unless you're looking for a piggyback. See what I can conjure up. Okay, I'll wait here and take a good long look at my life, strewn all over the front yard. Should I save this guy, folks? <laughs> Oh, it's a lady. Girl, you are not. Wow, that's just really bad. That's really bad. Come on, out of the car, lady. Oh, that got you out. There you go. Thanks, man. Just let me grab my favorite iron. She's not getting that. <laughs> grab your favorite iron? Dude. Mess. Really great wardrobe out for all to see. Whatever. I can't deal with it right now. Right. Can you drop me off at the golf club in Richmond? At least I know I'll be welcome there. You know where else you'll be welcome? <laughs> it's so far! I take it you're leaving your underwear in the driveway then? Oh god. Yeah, I'm not giving her the satisfaction of cleaning that up. I'll go to the club, get a few drinks in me, and hope either her meds have kicked in or the gin is worn off by the time I get back. I appreciate you doing this, by the way. I, I know it's kind of a weird... That was close! What's your name? T. River. <laughs> Good to meet you. I'm Castro. Hi, Castro. Um, what is that? Italian? Spanish? Pure wasp, I'm afraid. My sister's called Muffy, so I think I got off lightly. Oh, you kind of... Whoa, you kind of did. What was... Hey, this is a weird route you're taking. Just avoiding the worst of the traffic. So, what was that all about? Ah, just the usual psycho female stuff. She thinks I've got another woman on the side. And have you? That's not the point. She doesn't know that I have one. Ah, uh, so you do. I'm kind of guy now. I have a very strict code. Only on out-of-town trips, no real names, a dead trail. What? That's a gentleman's way, right? A gentleman wouldn't do that at all. I'm not sure I'm your boy for moral compass questions. I'm good like that. I don't want to embarrass her. Then she goes and literally airs our dirty laundry in front of all the neighbors. I mean, show some class. Um, so, let me get I don't blame her. Straight. You're pissed because she's accusing you of cheating when she doesn't know you've cheated, even though you have cheated. Yep. Exactly. You're it's shitty. Like I could trust. She'd be accusing me of it even if I hadn't. I've never done anything at that golf club except play golf. And that's the god honest truth. Which is more than I could say about her spin class instructor. In fact, I wonder if her fat ass is admissible as evidence in court. Because if she's doing that much spinning, it should be like a bowling ball by now. Anyway, sorry. You don't need to hear this. That, you're oh, fucking ridiculous. Worry. Pretty much switched off when you said your name was Cast. <laughs> Money doesn't buy you happiness. It just buys you a lot of therapy. Talk about why you're not happy. Thank God for golf. That's Damn, that I seems say. pretty accurate um, to Michael. I've been known to dabble. What a game. True sport of kings. You know, they still don't let women on the course in Los Santos. It's a throwback to a less confusing time. Oh everyone my. Everyone knew who they were. I can't wait to get to the club. See the guys? Forget all about this. For fuck's sakes. Don't shoot me now while I've got a stranger in my car. These damn bikers. Anyway, this guy seems terrible, so um, I don't really feel that bad bringing him to this cult. <laughs> My passenger here is getting real quiet now. Aren't you gonna say, whoa, why are we all the way up here now? We've been driving for in-game hours. <laughs> ah, shit. Here goes the sharp turns again. Ooh, headlights came on automatically. Good shit. Tunnel! My favorite. This car sounds awesome. 
actually. It sounds really awesome. All right, buddy. Enjoy your last sunset. Okay, come on. What is this? We're way past the <laughs> golf club now. I just wanted to show you this other great country club I know. Uh, okay. I guess. <laughs> You're very gullible, man. If there was a country club all the way up here, though, I think that would be kind of cool because then you have the view of a lifetime. But that's not the case, buddy. I'm sorry. Here you go. It's your time. Your time's up. I come bearing more gifts. <laughs> I, thought, I thought he was about to start using his golf club as a weapon. I would be. Someone has been brought. It is a sign. It is a sign. Do you think I can get a taxi all the way up here? Oh, actually, where do I really want to go right now? I think I will finish that side mission with all the signs um, in, a, in like another episode because it just seems like a lot. And we do have five more. Um, but I'm going to like keep in my mind what houses I have checked and we will finish that and see what that kind of brings. Um, but let's end the episode with... We'll do a Nigel side mission and see what he's up to. Last time I saw him, him and the uh, other lady he was with. Well, I kind of did the driving, but we all collectively kidnapped a famous guy. <laughs> nice. I can get a taxi all the way up here. Yay. Where can I take you? Take me to that waypoint. Sure thing, man. Thanks, friend. You're doing wonders for me. <laughs> You're making that cold trip really worth it. All right, Nigel, what are you doing all the way in Strawberry? Have you seen Franklin? <laughs> he doesn't really live here anymore. I kind of forgot. <laughs> so no, I don't think you have. This malarkey. Oh, he's making such a fuss. These celebs. Oh, they're not like you or me. Ah, ah apart from you, Jock. <laughs> Would you go and get him one of his favorite pizzas? No. Well, then I don't know what to do with him. I mean, he hasn't eaten for a few days. He's gonna die. You've kidnapped a major movie star, okay? Now, you can either leave him somewhere and hope he's been sufficiently scared shitless to stay quiet, or you can send him on the kind of trip he won't come back from. Oh, a trip! Such fun! Oh dear, oh dear, what a palaver oh, this no, is. what kind of decisions, trip are we talking about? Decisions. If you could just handle this, Jock. Mm. Al is in the boot of the car. You'd be doing us such a favor. I'm really not one for goodbyes. Go to the train tracks? Holy shit. Are we gonna tie him in there or tie him down? I'm not liking where this is setting. I'm a little worried. Hello? Hey! Hello? What's happening? Who None you? of your business! I'm the man getting you from A to B. Uh, a being the trunk of this car and B being a horrific scenario of my choosing. <laughs> oh God, <please> <laughs> Good to know, well, good to know. I'll be sure to grab that after we're done. Oh, shit. <laughs> Please, let me go. This is terrible. I you're a big, tough action movie guy. Continue to the destination to kill Al or stop the car and get out to release him. I mean, what's the, what's the, I don't really want to. Please, talk of anything. Ah, see, you can't act. Don't listen to all those movie critics. Are those crazy old bricks with you? Just me and you, honey bun. Did you have fun with those two? They're harmless, aren't they? They are not harmless. Those fucked up games. The things that woman may be due to her feet. Ah, you lucky Ooh. boy. Older women are to be cherished. Like a fine cheese. Sometimes the rind is the best bit. What do you want? You barely know me, Al, and you're already judging my cultural standing. I find that very offensive. Okay, I don't know if I really want to kill him. 
I, I kind of really don't. <laughs> um, that just seems really terrible, and he kind of. Other than a cheeseburger, a cold beer, and you shutting the hell up, I'm all good. You mean you don't want money? They're not paying me anything. Why are you doing this? Well, one, I'm a bad person. <laughs> Two, I understand that love takes many forms. And three, most importantly, you've seen all our faces. I've made the mistake of not tying up loose ends once before. I won't tell a soul, I promise. Are you we sure? No, you'll go straight to the police. I won't. I fucking swear it. I could give you $10,000 right now. How about we double it? How about we double that? <laughs> I'm not gonna kill him, Jesus Christ. It's not, I mean, it, Trevor would kill him. Offer on the understanding but. that you keep your mouth shut. Unless, of course, you wanna be returned to uh, Sir Fruitcake and Lady Skrulu's back there. No, 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 I, I promised it. Here, take it all, just, just let me go. Hey, keep making terrible movies, Al. Anyway, yeah, Trevor would have killed him. I don't want to, though. What happened to the 10,000? Bro, you said you were gonna be 10,000. God damn it. Dear Mr. Phillips, please find below your weekly income from your own properties. Wow, we got $5,000 from Vanilla Unicorn. Not a lot, not great. Well, guys, that kind of, that was poopy. I got to get off now because it's about time to start making dinner and kind of start munching on some food before I get too hungry. <laughs> this episode was a little bit on the shorter side, but I still hope you all enjoyed. And like I said, next time I am going to go ahead and finish that property manager side mission thing, um, destroying the rest of those for sale signs because it was a lot. It was a lot and kind of was taking me a little bit of a long time to do all in one sitting and I wanted to do other things before I had to wrap up. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that post notification bell to stay up to date on all of my GTA 5 uploads. And as always, I will see you in the next video.